Heck, the last time we called this fight, we got to watch him get engaged. Remember that? Yeah. At the end That's of right. That's right. Congrats Ryan, to him. South Carolina, are you ready? It's fight time! This is your main event of the evening. This bout is a six-round contest at the 175-pound weight division. Your referee in charge of the action is legendary Wayne Spinola. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white and gold trunks, fighting out of North Carolina, Ricardo Bless Basari! Standing across the ring, wearing the white and black trim, fighting out of St. Michael's Boxing Club, representing Charlotte and Rock Hill, South Carolina, I give you Quentin, the chosen one, Reagan! All right, guys, we know the rules in the back. You know the rules. Obey my commands at all time. Protect yourselves at all time. If you want to right now, touch gloves. Step back. I'll get you guys started. Good luck. Should be a southpaw versus an orthodox fighter. <laughs> Southpaw being Quentin Rankin. I love those kind of matchups. Southpaw and Orthodox, my favorite. Box. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. That was jab. A couple of right jabs. Rankin likes to feint, and he doesn't just feint the traditional way with his hands, but he'll use his feet, he'll use his body. He really sells you on the feint. Quentin with a series of right jabs to open this round up for the first 15, 20 seconds or so. The end with the right jab. Besser has yet to throw a punch yet. There's a straight left hand by Rankin. But Besser doesn't care. You can hit him clean right in the chin. He don't care. <laughs> he is, you can't break this man's confidence. We, and that's a dangerous it. thing. Yeah. Quentin still utilizing that right jab, just jab, jab, just throwing out little touches. Throws in the left to the body. Left upstairs. I don't know if Besser is throwing the punch yet, has he? A little jab to the body, but it really wasn't a punch. Yeah, that was about Maybe it. it was. Yeah. 150 left to go in the open around. There's a double jab. A couple jabs coming in, a couple one ones. The way that Besserell moves, he, he has that herky-jerky style that's hard to hit him clean. And you don't even know if he's hurt. You know, is he bending his knees and getting down low because he's hurt? Is he just move, like right there? It looks like he could have been hurt, but then he pivots away. It's just his, his, the way he moves. Quick and heal with that left hook. You guys are jab again. Besserell's trying to work himself in. Trying to cut off the ring. Goes right to the body. Right upstairs that Franklin was able to duck under. That just, just had that left hand, just, just leaving it hanging up there so that he yeah. could throw that vicious right here. He was about a foot off on it. Forty-five to go in the opening round. Back to credit to Rankin's counter punching. Um, I've sparred with Rankin years ago, probably every oh, week oh, for oh. a while, and his style. Good I know job, he's job. grown and become more of a developed fighter, but he, you just never know when he's going to punch you. You could be hitting him, and just the way his hands are moving, he, he'll hit you right back, and he, you didn't think he could. <laughs> That's why you might see Bessero back him into the ropes, but not throw with both hands, because Rankin is such a poised counter puncher. He's never off balance where he can't hit you. Beautiful right to the body yeah. by Rankin. Ten by seconds. Left. Ten seconds to go on the opening rail. Time! 
calculated first round. Yes. Yeah. Right. Not letting Beth. And again, it's a mental thing with Rakit. You think he can't punch, so you'll press him, and then out of nowhere you get hit. And I think Bessarol knows that, which is why even when he does put pressure on Rankin, he's not putting pressure on him with his punches. He's walking to Rankin, but he's not using his punches to back him up. And when he is on the ropes, Bessarol still isn't engaging Rankin when Rankin's on the ropes because, again, the counter-punching of Rankin has him thinking that he can't punch. We'll see if that changes in the second round. All right, Quentin's already up, ready to roll. Frank is already on his feet. Yeah, ready to go. Bessero working with renowned trainer Tony Birch, who had a fighter on tonight's card as well. So he's getting good instruction, I'm sure. Okay, Joe, here we go. Ready? Box. Quinn again leading with that left jab. I'm sorry, that right jab. Just throwing it out there, throwing it out there. Jab, jab. Might be, you know, might be trying to set up a body shot. Best for goes to the ropes. He did that at the end of the last round. You know, best for the launches a straight right to the body. Quick saw it coming, though. Best for again with another jab to the body. Feigns one. Not much happening right now. Yeah, just, just the battle of the light jabs, the light touches, okay. just, you know, like they're trying to set something up. You know, the Reagan best. said something to me uh, a few weeks ago that he's been working on. It doesn't mean he was going to do it in this fight, but he did say he's working on pressuring fighters without Keep them up. Keep throwing them up. too many punches. And I, you can see that here. It's just that physical pressure of him standing right in front of Besserell. And when Besserell goes to punch, Reagan takes that step back and comes right back in with the pressure. There, Bessero goes with the flurry of punches. I'm not sure much landed clean. I think that left to the body at the end may have. Watch your feet. Watch he, your feet. He, he's trying to set that right hand up, but he's not having it. He's but not back, having yeah. success trying to get it off. There's a left to the head and the body by Rankin. But that goes back to what Rankin's been working on, keeping the pressure on Bessero, but not pressure to the point where he's going to be hit. I mean, Bessero right now is feeling the physical presence of Rankin in the ring because he's so close to him. But when Bessero goes to punch, Rankin's gone. Exchange a little bit there. Best roll throwing down the middle. Watch your feet, guys. Led with the straight right hand that time. Best roll with another straight right. About a foot off again. Rankin walked him down. Get off his head. Get off Best his head. Trying to wrap Thank him you. up. One I know. I know. Yeah, best for he he's looking for that right hand. Yeah. He's looking for it. He's trying. He, you know, he's throwing it left, throwing it left, throwing it left, trying to get that right hand off heavy. But uh, he, he hasn't been able to land it yet. Yeah, I think that, like to your what you're alluding to, is such a good point. Rankin has been able to set his punches up. Bestrol still has yet to find a way to set up his. You can see Rankin jab and double jab and then throw the left hand. But Bestrol throw a hook. He'll throw something to the body. He's still trying to figure out where Rankin is going to go so they can set his punches up. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to go in round number two of the possible six. Got three left hands from Rankin, the last one landed. You know, I can only imagine, once again, you, you know, you've been in the boxing industry and I haven't, but the frustration of trying to figure out in best rules, you know, uh, situation. Yeah, I'm getting, I try yeah. To, you know, I'm trying to figure out, how, man, how do, how do I get to this guy? 
You know, everything I do is counted. How do I get to this guy? Well, you know, if I had to say something, I don't know what Bert is saying to him. He's probably saying something better than I could say. But, you know, you don't want to make it into a fight that Rankin can win. Rankin wants to be at that distance because he's a boxer. And some, it, it, you don't want to make it a skill fight. And Rankin is more, he has more tools in his tool belt than Bessarol does. Don't make it about the tools. Throw the tools out the window, you know. Make it a little more ugly. Run in if you have to. Run to the right, inside. Right. Yeah. Throw with both hands when you get on the inside. Here we go. Ready? Box. They're opening bill for round number three. Oh, that was, that was solid. Well, Rankin caught him with a solid straight left. Touch jabs, touch jabs with the right, touch, touch. Now, Bursaro tries a loop and left hook. Got to try something. Credit to him, he's trying different things. He wants yeah. to see what what's going to work and what's not. Beautiful jab by Rankin. I can really snap in that jab out with yeah, no effort. It just, just looks so effortless with him. He yeah. just pops it right out. Don't hold him. Don't hold him in. It's all right. You still can't hold him in. That's what it looks like. Maybe he's saying something to the ref, but I'm not really sure what he's complaining about. Once again, just have to set him up. Touch, touch, touch with the right. Yeah, yeah. Head, body, head. People Surprised move. Best Roll by coming right back in. Best Roll thought that Flurry was over and then Rankin stepped right back in. Yeah, best Roll's catch. Oh, oh, he hit him with the head. Yep, Down yeah, that, that right to the temple. That it, yeah. yeah, he hit him with a flurry and he Six, called him with an overhand right to the seven, temple. Sent him down to his knees. Eight, He's claiming, Best Roll's claiming he got hit in the back of the head. Okay, you want to keep going? Well, okay, we, we go. have replay. So we'll oh, be yes, the judge of that one. Maybe he did. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think he did, though. Rankin might go back to the body now. You got that man hurt. It's always good to go to the body. Yeah, There's those body him. shots. Just like you said, right back to the body again. And that's just who Rankin is, too. He, he loves going to the body and the head. I think that, that this is a lot about his camp. I, I've said yeah, it yeah. before, you know, that his coach, you know, Mike Engler, is a firm believer. Yep. And, and going to the body. Yeah, See, that's what I was talking about earlier. Just make it ugly. Make it ugly, you know, yeah. Don't make it about the tools. You don't have that many tools as Rankin does. Make it something where you can win it. I mean, that's where it has plenty of tools. It's just Rankin may have just a little too many in certain departments. Yeah. You know, he's a little more athletic. You know, he's a little slicker. Ten seconds. Rankin went Stop. to the body with the Break straight left and tried to open up, up that right hook over the top again. Yeah, he was successful with it before. That's what sent the best throw to his knees about a minute and a half ago. He to the end round with the body. Right here, Ricardo, this way. Let's see if we can see what happened there. Yeah, here we go. So he's zoning all body. those body, body shots, head shots. Best roll doesn't know what's coming. Right to the side of the head. Straight left, he steps, Got changes the plugged. angle. Boom. I like the side of the head. Looks, Looks like you caught him right, you know, right, right by the ear. Yeah. Yeah, re replay is wonderful. Yeah, caught him, caught him right by the ear. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, though, Scott, you were right. You know, the, the, the one little flurry that he had, where well, he had some successes when yeah. he made it ugly, just like you said. Yep. Both men are off their stool. Ready? Box. 
All right, opening round number four of a possible six. Ooh, I think Bestrel oh, snuck, I think in, Bestrel the snuck in the left hand right yeah. there, didn't he? Being active. Don't hold, don't hold. Stop, break clean, back up, back up. Both of you release each other. There we go, box. And look around, he steps to him. He wants to keep that pressure going. Bestrel's got to capitalize on that success. Oh, uh, I got him with a nice right left to the body. Once again, put touch, touch, touch. He's looking downstairs. Touch, boom, down to the body again with the left. Well, he stepped around and went down. Very athletic. That's for a leads or a left. Jab takes up the a left hand to the body for his efforts. Bessel saying no, it's something he's accustomed to doing in this fight. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He loves the fight. I told him, just, <laughs> you can't discourage this man. You really can't. That's one of the reasons why I really do enjoy watching him. Bessel over the left tries to set up that right hand. Realized it wasn't going to be it. Uh, it was pointless. Quentin, Quentin was already backed out. He was already two feet yeah. away from him. Beautiful uh, step back. Uh, real, 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 real nice for that. Yeah. And he just found it. That step and the straight left caught him clean. Beautiful right, right hook left. counter over that jab. Keep that body up. Keep him up. Might be hurt for the body a little bit, I'm not sure. But you know another thing I really enjoy about Rankin, he is so methodical. Look at look at the body shots. You know, he, he doesn't get overly excited yeah. and, and rush himself. You know what I mean? He's he's very poised when he's in the ring. He picks yeah. his points, but he, he picks them so incredibly well. Yeah. He's waiting for that right-handed best roll. That's why best roll didn't throw it. Because he can see that Rankin is waiting for that punch to counter him. And once you get into somebody's head like that. Oh, he's down oh, with a body yep. shot. Look down with a body shot. Five, yep. six, he caught him with a body seven, shot. eight, It was just nine. a little bit of a delay, but when he caught it, about a half a second later, down he went. No offense going back. You got to show me something real fast or we'll stop this fight. Ten seconds. Box. Two seconds left in the round. Time! Right here. Right here. What a world makes some noise. Rock your South Carolina. Let's watch that again. They're on the inside. Boom. Snuck that shot. Boom. It, got him it twice. It was that second one. That second one. Got him. Caught him right in the liver. That volume function. You don't know what's coming, head or body. Target you know you're for the right Very, very methodical. But he doubled him up. So get up he doubled him up, booked to the same side. But that second one, yeah. The second one got a hold to him good. Yeah, once again, Rankin's already up, ready to roll. Rankin bouncing around a little bit, he's ready. All right, here we go, round five, possible six. Rankin sticks to the same plan, throwing her the right jab out there, just throwing it. He feigns that one, feigns a couple of them. Well, Bessler tries the left hook to the body, did about a foot off. Bessler with a couple left jabs, trying to set up that right hand again, I believe. Exact yeah. combination. Yeah, yeah, the the body. Twice caught him again with that left to the body. Straight left lead. 
lead. Backing a little bit upstairs. We don't want to one two upstairs. Just found the gloves though on that one. A little quick left hand, oh, sorry, right hand jab. Best real throws a jab out there a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not much going on. No, not a whole lot. He, he caught him with another body <laughs> shot. And it's over. Yeah, he, yeah, he, right he, as I say that. Yep. As, as soon as you said it, he hit him. Yeah. I saw him have the noodle legs. Wobble. Yeah, I saw him with the noodle legs, and I guess the ref, he, he'd seen enough of it. In the eyes, you know. Even from here, I can't really tell, but the ref yeah. got a good look, and they know. Most yeah. refs will know. They look at you, they know. This time. Yeah. And, yeah, we've talked about that numerous like that. times, how they see what we don't. You know, and, and everything. And they, uh, and once again, a, a, shot, a, show, a show of respect between the two fighters. Quentin put on a show. He did, man. He, uh, he did what he wanted. He did what he wanted in every round. All right, here's the referee with the official call. That was an excellent display of boxing, and your winner by TKO in the fifth round at one minute and 26 seconds, Quinton, the chosen one, Reiki!